and you've got the dreaded flat battery. No jumper cables. What do you do? Well, you can make an emergency charger that'll get you out of trouble from just a light bulb and a diode. That's it. It'll get you out of trouble. I don't recommend anybody do this because it's mains electricity and it's not isolated. So you can get an electric shock from the battery while charging. So it's not to be touched while using this circuit. But in emergency, it'll get you out of trouble. But you should not build this. So all you need is an electrical cord with a plug on it. A light bulb, a socket, some means to attach the light bulb to a bit of wire, a diode, connector block, and for clarity I've got some red and black wire for positive and negative for the battery. So this, this will go to the battery terminals, this side. So all you really do is you feed the live into your light bulb socket like so the diode points away with the stripe pointing away from the socket out of the bulb That's it done. So all you really have is the live coming in, passing through the light bulb, which acts as a resistor to limit the current, and it gives you a voltage drop. Um, it only passes a half wave DC through to the battery. The battery draws the voltage right down because it's being charged, and it completes the circuit through the neutral. Um, there is no upper voltage limit on this, um, so you have to um, Put a voltmeter on there periodically and check that as soon as you reach about 14 14 and a half volts you're done and the battery is fully charged of course this must be considered live everywhere in this circuit so you cannot touch the battery terminals until the live is disconnected it can only be used in emergency i would never recommend anybody do this because anybody that touches this can get a shock so the the neutral goes straight through to the negative of the battery. The live goes through the light bulb, then through a diode. Then that generates the positive to charge the battery, current limited by the light bulb, and the negative is connected to the neutral. These then go straight to the car battery terminals. Preferably, preferably you want to take this battery out of the car and put it somewhere safe where nobody can touch it. Um, so we'll demonstrate now how this charges the battery. If you're doing this on the car, make sure you disconnect both battery terminals first. Then connect the, the red wire to the positive. Connect these wires to the battery terminals first before the mains plug is plugged in. Then the black wire to the negative. This charger is very rudimentary. This, this is if you have no crocodile clips, all you have is a light bulb and a diode you probably salvaged out of some bit of rubbish electronic you found somewhere. Light bulb. Place the light bulb somewhere safe where it can't 
short against anything. Now, you can't get close to anything or touch any battery terminals because it's all considered live. But now, carefully plug in the mains electricity and the light bulbs dimly shine now. Nobody is to come near this battery or touch or touch anything until the power is disconnected, including yourself. This is all now live. And there you have it, we're charging the battery with the world's simplest and most dangerous battery charger. This is the emergency battery charger only, for educational purposes only. But that should slowly trickle charge overnight. You should be able to have a flat battery, enough charge in it to start the car. Two thousand years later. Right, that now had a full day to trickle charge. So let's uh, turn the ignition on, see if she starts. There we go. First time. So emergency charger with a light bulb and a diode. Very dangerous, but can get you out of a pickle in the emergency.